Hey guys, welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. We are here with Nala and Simba, actually. I'm hanging out with Simba um, to work on his friendship level, and then we are going to do a quest for Nala. So let's go ahead and have a chat. Hi. Now well, I found something strange on one of my patrols. I've been trying to figure it out, but I think I need your help. All right. Uh -huh. I was patrolling near Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach when I smelled something odd. My whiskers even started twitching. Huh. Okay, what happened next? Uh -huh. I got closer to investigate and found something buried in the ground. The tide had washed away the sand on top of it. Uh -huh. So I dug it out. It was a small brown thing that looked like me. That's weird. <laughs> like a Nala action figure? Oh, what's that? Hey, I don't think that's what it was. When I was digging it out, I scratched it with my claw. Sparks came out of it, like it was going to catch fire, and my whiskers started twitching even more. That's when I decided to come find you. Alright, another magical mystery. Uh, I'm no expert, but I'll do my best to help. Trust in yourself, you've solved so many problems like this for your pride already. Alright, I'll go find this strange thing on Skull Rock near Dazzle Beach. Thank you. Fishy business. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so let's head down to the beach. We're gonna gather the half-buried lioness statue on Skull Rock. Okay, I think we are here. Well, this one looks like it has something sticking out, so that has to be it. Yeah. Okay, something just started glittering in the water just off of Skull Rock. Take a photo of the strange mystical rift to show to Nala. Okay, where... there we go. So we've got our statue and a photo, Hi. so we'll show these to Nala. Alright, I found what you were talking about. It's a statue. The weird thing is that the second I picked it up, I saw something shining in the water. It looked like some kind of mystical rift. Here, I took a picture of it to give you a closer look. Hmm. That's strange. Every time I look towards Dazzle Beach, my whiskers start twitching. And that smell. I know my nose is more sensitive than yours, but it's worse than a whole pack of hyenas. Uh -huh. The statue, the rift, the smell, they must be connected somehow. Alright, well how do we fix this? I've never encountered anything like this before. Maybe if we just bury the statue again. Uh -huh. Yeah, the smell isn't just coming from Dazzle Beach anymore. Now I smell it coming from other places in the valley. Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, the Frosted Heights, the Glade of Trust. Hmm. If I even look in those directions, my whiskers start twitching. Alright, time to go investigate. Let's see if we can find some more statues. I'll patrol and make sure nothing dangerous comes through that rift. I don't know exactly where to look. Oh, well, here we go, right here. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Alright, unfortunately, these statues don't stack, so. I'm gonna have to clear out some inventory here. Alright, off to the Glade of Trust. Alright, here we are in the glade. Let's look. The other two have been close to water, so just assuming that that is the pattern, I'll check. Yep, here we go. Alright, good deal. We've got all three, so let's go back to Nala. More lioness statues? Did you find these in the Frosted Heights in the glade? I guess I did. 
They were all buried in the ground just like the first one, but that's not all. More of these weird rifts have opened up in other parts of the village. Oh. Why do you think whatever's happening is my fault? I was the one who damaged that first statue. Well, of course not. Okay, let's start with these rifts. Did anything dangerous come out of the one on Dazzle Beach while you were watching? Huh. Okay, I didn't see anything come out of it, but something did happen. Goofy came by to fish. He cast out his rod near the rift and snagged something. <laughs> then he shouted and ran off. Alright, sounds like I better go talk to Goofy. Thank you. How you doing today? Okay, here's our buddy Goofy. Good to see you. Say Mal, I think there might be something fishy going on around here. <laughs> what makes you think that? See, I was fishing down near Dazzle Beach, and I saw this funny thing in the water. Yeah, there's some sort of mystical rift. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I saw that, but that's not all. I cast out my line near the rifty thing, and then I saw this funny fish swimming out of it. Oh, was that the here and there fish? Uh, it looked like trouble. You know how lots of fish are sleek and kind of pretty? This wasn't like that at all. It had big bulging eyes coming out of the top of its head, and it was glowing red. Oh, excuse me, glowing real odd like and shiny. Oh. One look at it, and I hightailed it back to the meadow. I didn't want to lose another fishing rod trying to catch it. I'm on my fifth one this week. <laughs> oh. Uncle Scrooge said he's going to have to start order ordering them in bulk. All right. Leave it to me. I'll try catching the weird fish near the rift. Okay, so we have got to try to catch that weird fish that Goofy saw. So let's head back over here to the magical rift. We'll see if we can, I guess, go for the gold bubbles. Or do we just fish anywhere? I don't know. We'll try this first. Ooh, we definitely caught something new. That doesn't look like the here and there fish. Ooh, that's super weird. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. Really gotta get my inventory management up to par. Okay, so we just caught a weird fish. Alright. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, it just looks like a shadow. It says, on top of being ugly, there's something strange and magical about this fish. It seems to be caught halfway between the here and there. Hmm. Mm. Ugh, what is that? And why is it glowing? But some sort of fish that swam out of the rift. It might be the key to solving this. Hey, the rifts, the glowing fish, the strange statues. It's not like anything I've ever had to deal with before. No. Oh. Welcome to the valley. Alright, we're dealing with strange sea creatures and dark magic. This is the job for Ursula. Huh? Yeah, she only seems to care about what's best for Ursula. Do you think she'll help us? Yeah, she'll help. It is in her best interest to help us. Even Scar wouldn't want the whole valley to get pulled into one of those rifts. Well, I suppose you should lead the way. Let's go talk to Ursula. Alright, so we are going to give the weird fish, blue lioness, orange lioness, and purple lioness statues to Ursula. I don't think I would just hand those over. I don't even know what they're for. Oh, it's you! Fabulous! My, my angelfish, what's all this? You might have noticed some weird magical stuff going on around here. Nala and I found these mystical rifts that opened up in the water, and then that fish swam out. 
Hey, have you ever seen anything like it? Doesn't look like any fish I've ever seen, and I've seen them all. Let me take a closer look. The fish disappeared right out of my hands. But I got enough of a look at it to tell you where it's from. And since I'm so generous, perhaps I'll even tell you without asking for anything in trade. Well, that would be f first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Just remember, you're in my debt, angelfish. Hey, this fish comes from the here and there. I went to the here and there to get the orb of trust back, but I didn't see any fish like this. You may have visited, but you merely went as deep as sea foam skimming the ocean surface. This fish came from somewhere much deeper in the here and there than that. Like where Minnie went when she disappeared? Now you're getting it. It seems you and Nala have done something to rip open the walls between, well, between the here and there. Hey, what about those statues? If I'm not mistaken, this has happened before, long ago. Those statues must have been part of some enchantment to seal the rifts. Oh, well, that makes sense. Now that you've disturbed them, the enchantment is broken. Poor Nala. She was supposed to be the protector of this valley, but now she might lead it to its destruction. Ursula, don't be dramatic. All because of one clumsy little mistake. Alright, stop gloating and help us fix this. I'm not running a charity here, Mal. Let me have a little fun. Oh. Uh, if we don't fix this soon, who knows what else might leak into the village. I'll need some time to figure out how to shut them for good. I'm afraid that in these matters, time is the one thing that can't be bargained for. Why are you still here? Shoot! Oh, hey there! Alright, Ursula will help us figure out how to close the rifts once and for all. I just hope we can do it before anything worse starts coming through them. Okay, if they do, I'll be there to fight them off. All I want to do is keep the valley safe and make sure everyone has enough food. Yeah. I just hope we can stop this before it's too late. It's fantastic. Okay, fishy business complete. So we have figured out that there is or there was some kind of enchantment keeping these mystical rifts closed between our world and the here and there and nala has accidentally uh she has opened those rifts <laughs> so we are going to be waiting for ursula i suppose let's double check All right, well, we have to get Nala's love friendship level up to seven, and then we will be able to continue, but I'm guessing we'll, in the next part, be figuring out um, from Ursula what we need to do to fix this. But anyway, guys, I think that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Those simple little actions help so much on the channel and I really appreciate it. But I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!